Hello guys, welcome back to the FE exam review series where I cover the most common FE questions that you need to know to pass your FE exam. In today's video, we'll be covering another math and statistics problem, specifically part A, analytic geometry. So let's dive in. So we are giving the equation of the ellipse and we want to find the full side. So the first thing we got to do is go to the reference handbook and take a look at the equations. So under math, here we have the ellipse. And then note, guys, that this equation here, this is the stand standard form of the equation, okay? Which means that before we can start solving for the foci, the first thing we got to do is take our equation and then convert it to the standard form equation, okay? Now, once we do that, the next step is we have to determine what is a squared and what is b squared. And once you have those two values, then you can easily solve for the full side. So with that information, why don't you guys give this problem a try? Go ahead and pause the video. And then once you solve it, then come back and watch the rest of the video. Now, it's very important that you guys watch till the end because I am going to cover a lot of important concepts that you should know about this problem. Did you guys solve it? Let me know what you got in the comments below. Okay, so the first thing we got to do here is take this equation and transform it into the standard form equation, okay? And so all we need to do really is just divide every term in this equation by 196. Now, why are we dividing by 196? Well, because what we want is we want this equation to be equal to 1, right? So if we do 196 over 196, that's going to give us 1. But if we divide this side of the equation by 196, we have to do the same thing to the other side of the equation, right? So that way the equation doesn't change. And so now we have to divide this term by 196 and same thing with this term. Now, the next step is we just need to simplify these two terms. So what we need to do is just divide this here by 49, right? So we're going to divide it by 49. That's going to give us x squared. And we're going to divide it by 196 over 49. Because again, if we divide the top by 49, we got to do the same thing to the bottom. And if we do 196 divided by 49, that's going to give us 4. And then we do the same thing with the second term. So we're going to do 4y squared and we're going to divide it by 4. That's going to give us y squared. And then 196 divided by 4, that's going to give us 49. Now, the next thing we need to do is determine a squared and b squared. Now, when you guys are working with ellipse, what you need to remember is that a squared has to always be greater than b squared. Okay, very important. So using that, that means a squared here is going to be equal to 49 and then b squared is going to be equal to 4, right? But let's go back to the reference handbook and take a look at the equation that we have here. So if we look at this equation, a squared is actually associated with x squared and b squared is associated with y squared, which is the opposite of what we have here, right? We have here a squared is associated with y squared. And that's because on the reference handbook, this ellipse is a horizontal ellipse. In this problem, since a squared is associated with y squared, which means we have a vertical ellipse, okay? Very important that you guys remember this for your FE exam. So go ahead and add this equation here. This a squared is greater than b squared for the ellipse. Go ahead and add that into your cheat sheet. And then also we do have a 30 page long cheat sheet. Make sure that you guys download it if you haven't. So I will leave the link above there. Now let's calculate for the foci. So note guys here that even the equation for the foci switches, right? Because here, this is the foci for if we have a horizontal ellipse, but if we have a vertical ellipse, it's going to be zero and then plus or minus a times e, okay? So let's solve that. So a is just going to be the square root of 49 and then e is going to be this equation, which is one minus b squared over a squared. So that's one way of solving for the foci. The other way, which I personally prefer, is actually zero, so it's gonna be zero, and then plus or minus c, okay? And then c is actually really easy to solve. So c squared is actually equal to a squared minus b squared, and so then c is just going to be the square root of 49, 
because that's a squared, minus b squared, which is 4. And if you guys plug in these numbers in your calculator, you're going to get plus or minus 6.71, right? So this is going to be plus or minus. So which means the foci is going to be 0 and then plus or minus 6.71. Now, if we take a look at the multiple choice, the answer is going to be D. Now, if you guys prefer using AE, that's fine. You should be able to get the same answer. As I said, I personally prefer C. I think it's a little bit faster. And with the FE exam and time management, that's important. So just something to keep in mind. Okay, so the other thing I would like to do in this video is to actually draw the ellipse. I think if we draw it together and go through some concepts, you guys will grasp it better. So let's do that. So first, let's draw the vertices, okay? So the vertices usually are in the ma major axis, okay? And then also something you guys need to remember is that A is always the major axis, okay? And then B is the minor axis. All right, so to find the vertices, let me choose a different color. So let's do vertices. It's going to be zero and then plus or minus A, okay? Now, remember, this is only if you have a vertical ellipse, right? If it's a horizontal, then it changes. It would be plus or minus A and then zero, right? Because the major axis here is associated with Y, right? Because if you guys remember, our equation is what? X squared over b squared and then plus y squared over a squared, right? So a squared is associated with y squared and therefore we have a vertical ellipse, okay? So here, what we're going to do is just take the square root of 49 and so that's going to give us 7, right? So we're going to have 0 and then plus or minus 7, all right? And so let's draw it. So we're going to have 0 and then this point here is going to be 0, 7. So that's one vertex. The second one is going to be 0 and then minus 7. Now, another thing we can solve for is the endpoints of the minor axis, okay? And so that's going to be plus or minus b, 0, okay? So now we're talking about this axis here. So this is our major axis. This is the minor axis, right? And again, remember, when we have a horizontal ellipse, they switch, right? So this here is going to be plus or minus the square root of 4. That's going to give us 2 and then 0. So these two points, so these are the end points. So it's going to be minus 2, 0. And then this here is going to be 2, 0. And now let's draw the full size. So it's going to be somewhere here, right? So this is it's going to be 0 and then minus, let me write it, 0 minus 6.71. And then here, about somewhere here, it's going to be 0 and then 6.71, okay? So something, so that way it's easy for you guys to remember. The foci is always on the major axis, okay? So if our major axis here is y, right? So that's why here you're going to have plus or minus a times e. If the major axis is x, then you're going to have plus or minus a, e, and then 0, right? And that's for the horizontal ellipse. All right. Okay, guys, so that's what it is. I know it's it could be a little bit confusing. I would recommend trying to maybe rewatch this video. Just make sure that you grasp it. Something that I always recommend to our students is always make sure that you review, make sure that you grasp the concept. So what you really need to do is just try to differentiate between the horizontal ellipse and then the vertical ellipse, right? Again, just let me repeat some of the concepts and then as a summary. So what you guys need to remember, the first thing when you're dealing with ellipse is take the ellipse equation, convert it into the standard form equation. And then you have to determine a squared and b squared values. So a squared always greater than b squared, right? So a is going to be your major axis, b is going to be your minor axis. If a squared is associated with x squared, that means you have a horizontal ellipse, right? But if a squared is associated with y squared, then you're going to have a vertical ellipse. If you have a horizontal ellipse, then you're going to use the equations that are on the reference handbook. If you have the vertical ellipse, then you have to use the equations that we used in this problem. If you guys want more FE math problems, go ahead and comment below FE math. If you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss out on any future FE problems. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh, yeah.